Good morning fishing friends. Some of you have been following along with my journey on other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and uh, you'll notice that I have purchased two uh, fishing boats. Fishing boats that I'm very well aware of and comfortable on because I've fished on them for a very long time. And I want to take you on a boat tour of both of them today and show you what they're all about and what you can look forward to if booking a trip with Playing Hooky Sport Fishing. We're going to start out on Sea Dog 1 and the first thing you'll do when you jump aboard is notice that we have a really spacious cockpit for fighting fish. We've got electric downriggers across the back and we employ all techniques for fishing trout and salmon on Lake Michigan. Coming into the salon area you can see that there's ample space for guests to sit right away in the morning as we're getting set up and ready to go. Um, the only difference being that on the Sea Dog along the port side there's uh, two bench seats with a table and then on the Sea Dog 2 there's just a couch along the port side so instead of having a table there's two couches so both have a couch along the starboard side and then on the Sea Dog 2 there is a couch instead of a table. Headed down into the head here you can see very spacious actually for a boat. Uh, most boats for charter fishing on Lake Michigan don't even have a dedicated restroom. Uh, most of the times, like especially on a smaller boat, you'll just have a hatch that you lift up for a toilet. Um, but all three of the Play and Hooky vessels, including the Play and Hooky and both Sea Dog boats, have a dedicated restroom with a head. The really, really nice thing about the Sea Dog and the Sea Dog 2 as well as the play and hooky is that there's a spot to get away from the elements like if it's raining or cold or something outside you can just wait inside until a fish bites and then go out and fight the fish very very comfortable very very spacious on both boats you'll see ample storage up above just like i have on the play and hooky here we are in the forward cabin forward cabins look very similar on both boats there's lots of room for storage and, you know, napping during, you know, during the day. We can climb up the ladder here and visit the flybridge. The flybridge is the second set or the upper set, I should say, of controls on a boat. Really provides great views to make sure that you're not hitting anything on the water, as well as being able to see a great view of the cockpit to instruct people on how to fight fish properly. Let's climb aboard the Sea Dog 2 so we can compare and contrast features. As you can see from the outside, they do look very, very similar. Because they are, they're basically identical, they're matching. Uh, the Sea Dog 2 is a 1992, the Sea Dog is a 1990. Both 34 foot fishing vessels. You can see a very spacious cockpit for fighting fish. Same as on the Sea Dog. Take a look and head inside. Here's the bench seat along the port side of the Sea Dog 2, as well as the couch. You'll notice that the interior decor on Sea Dog 2 is white, whereas the interior decor on Sea Dog is black. Again, we'll take you down. I'll show you the bathroom. The bathroom is identical. Some of you are saying, why on earth are you showing the bathroom so much? Because it is such an incredible feature to be able to have a nice spacious bathroom while you're out fishing, especially for the ladies, I gotta say, uh, they typically tend to care more about the bathroom accommodations than the men do. Very nice, open, spacious salon. Very, very similar to the Sea Dog. Climb up and show you the flybridge of the Sea Dog 2. Part of the reason that I bought these two boats was because they are identical. Consistency is important in a lot of things in life. Like I said earlier, I was very comfortable in making the purchase of these two lures uh, sport fishing boats because I got my start as a first mate and I worked kind of dock to dock and boat to boat uh, for my first two years as a first mate. And then after that, 
I uh, signed on with Sea Dog, and at the time he only had one boat and I was running as a first mate and after my first year I decided to get my captain's license and then uh, a couple years after that I started working full-time because Jim the owner of the Sea Dogs at the time decided to buy a second boat and so I ran his second boat for I think it was like six or seven years and uh, at that point I was like I really want to get into this business for myself I want to do it on my own and uh, I decided to buy the Play and Hookie, which is my 360 Commander Chris Craft. And uh, things really took off pretty quickly that way. And I started looking for another boat pretty much right away after my first season. The only problem was I really didn't have the staff to, to run a second boat. And I really wanted to get a little bit more experience as well, to be honest. And uh, you know, I, I gave it a couple years and my first mate, Quinn, decided that he was gonna get his captain's license. So I thought, all right, I'm really gonna look seriously at buying a second boat. And I did that, I reached out to Jim, I asked if he would be willing to sell one boat, and then he just offered to sell me both of them. So it's funny how things work out. I don't exactly know why I said yes to that, but after one full season under my belt, I feel pretty confident with the decision and I'm really looking forward to fishing even more on both Sea Dog and Plain Hooky in the future. Um, some of you have asked, you know, what am I gonna do with the names of the Sea Dog boats as of right now? There's still Sea Dog and Sea Dog 2. I think I'm gonna keep them that way for next year. And then uh, they'll all be under the business name Plain Hooky. However, you'll, you know, if you decide to book, you could be on a Sea Dog or, or a Plain Hooky boat. Um, they're all very, very similar. They are all very comfortable and provide excellent accommodations. Um, if you have a, a request that you'd rather be on one boat versus another, for sure put that in the comments when booking your trip and uh, we'll find a way to accommodate. I'm looking forward to fishing with you.